Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Acorn. And I'm, I'm Natalie. <laughs> and we're here today in the Shawamagon mm -hmm. National Forest in Wisconsin. And we're going to be doing some backpacking on the Ice Age Trail. It is currently February 9th, 10th. February 10th, and it's snowing a little bit right now. So it's going to be a cold, wintry trip. I am doing just one night out and back because it's going to be cold. Um, it's supposed to be below zero tonight. I think the low is supposed to be like negative two, negative three. So not super cold, but it is supposed to snow tonight. We're supposed to get like three inches of snow. So yeah, that'll be fun. Um, hopefully it won't start snowing too, too hard until like around five o'clock. So I plan to be inside my tent by that time and not hiking in it but it's actually been snowing just lightly all the whole drive here so we'll see how that goes and we're here at the lake 11 segment i don't know how far i'm going to be going today i brought my snowshoes and this is my first time snowshoeing so i don't know how fast i can go on snowshoes and i'm also not entirely sure that i'm going to need to use them the trail, I just went out a little bit to check out the trail, and the trail itself is pretty packed down, so it's not like walking through deep snow right here, but off trail it's about like 10 inches, so I don't know if I'm actually going to use the snowshoes, but I'm going to carry them anyway, and yeah, did I forget anything? I don't think so. Alright, then let me put on my snow pants, which are heavy and bulky and strap my snowshoes on my pack and let's get going. So I've been hiking for about two hours now and I was actually getting pretty warm and I want to be very mindful not to sweat while I'm hiking today but the sun came out and it stopped snowing so I did take off my outer shell layer I just kind of hooked it onto my pack and I've been going pretty slow um, just because it's slower moving in the snow and I don't want to go too terribly far to make camp tonight, just, you know, a few miles in. Um, but it's about 11 o'clock right now, so I haven't had to break out the snowshoes just yet, but the snow is getting deeper, um, and there were, like, footprints, like, people footprints back towards the road, but now they're covered up, so I'm not, like breaking new trail the trail is still packed down but it is getting gradually deeper so we'll see how much snow we get tonight and i might have to break out the snowshoes on the way back we'll we'll see uh tomorrow but so far i mean it's been pretty forest the blazing has been just phenomenal there's these uh yellow blazes and the forest honestly is just littered with animal tracks. It's kind of hard to tell what a lot of them are just because the snow is kind of deep. So they're not very like clear prints, but just honestly everywhere I look, like deer trails, I'm pretty sure I saw a fox. Um, I think it was a little small for coyote, but yeah, it's honestly, it's really nice out here right now. Not cold at all. Um, Really, the thing is just to make sure I don't get too hot, so that's what I'm being mindful of right now. But I'll let you know when I have an update. So, the snow, it's getting pretty deep, and I'm sinking down pretty far with each step I take is getting pretty, pretty tough uh, to walk on, pretty slow going. So I think I'm gonna pop on the snowshoes 
and see if it makes it easier. I don't really know. I've honestly never snowshoed before. I don't know if it's really like the ideal depth uh, to be snowshoeing right now, but you know what? I'm carrying them on my back anyway, so I'm gonna pop them on, see what it feels like, see if it helps. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's uh, let's do it. Okay, so real talk, this is fantastic. This is like 50% easier walking. I feel like I'm just kind of like gliding on the snow. This is, honestly, I should have put these on way sooner. This is pretty great. Oh, this is actually kind of a lot of fun. I feel like I'm got one up on the snow here. Wow, I'm going so much faster with so much less effort. Like, honestly, I didn't think this was gonna help. Um, but really, these are great. I bought these on Amazon. And I also was a little bit worried about, like, the recommended weight for these. Because it's supposed to be from, like, 120 to 150 pounds. And I think with me and my gear and my, like, winter clothing is kind of heavy, I was going to be, like, a couple pounds above, like, the ideal weight range. But it doesn't really seem to be affecting them. So that's cool. But, yeah. Wow, this is awesome. So it's about 1245 right now. And I'm thinking I'm going to hike for maybe like an hour, hour and a half more before I start looking for camp. I'm making better time on the snowshoes. Not that I'm going anywhere particular, but uh, I'm trying to time it right with the snow that's supposed to come around 5 o'clock tonight. So I wouldn't have enough time to really like take my time and find the perfect campsite and be able to get like my tent set up, fire stuff, um, dinner cooked, all that stuff that's uh, more requiring movement done uh, and I don't want to have to sit and like wait around or go to bed at four o'clock just because it's cold and I'm not moving as much after all that's done so I want to get that done before the snow comes but not too much before so I don't want to have that much downtime so we'll see my sleep setup here. I doubled up on ground pads just to add a little extra layer of protection. And I have my new quilt from Enlightened Equipment. It's so cute. And it's a zero degree quilt. And then I have my sleeping bag liner as well. So that's all set up for tonight. So the fire's dying and it is snowing. It's like 4.45 right now. 
and I just now started cooking. But on the good side, I got my whisper light to work on the very first try, which I practiced with um, in the backyard before I came on this trip, and it was a struggle the first time, but it's all good. We're melting some snow. <coughs> I'm gonna get some water, and then I'm gonna cook some dinner. It's not snowing too hard yet, so I'm just gonna stay out here. Um, my jacket is pretty water resistant. It's a ski jacket, and I have other clothes I'm gonna put on when I go to bed, so I'm not super worried that it's snowing a little bit already. So yeah, I'll show you dinner when it's ready. So I couldn't actually show you dinner because I kept dropping my phone in the snow and it disables my USB port because it thinks there's water in there. So it wouldn't let me charge my phone for a while. And by that time it was getting dark so I just went ahead and had dinner and I couldn't wait. But I just wanted to say that I'm all cozy in my quilt and it's definitely still snowing. I can hear it on the tent but hopefully it'll be a nice cozy night in here. It is pretty windy right now but I don't think it's supposed to be like super duper cold like just below zero so I'm thinking that it'll be a pretty good night and then tomorrow I'm gonna hike back out and Natalie's gonna come and pick me up and that's all for now Good morning. It's now February 11th. It's about 7.15 and it's currently snowing. Um, I don't think it's snowing too hard. It snowed a lot a lot last night. Uh, my tent got kind of saggy because there was just snow kind of piling up on it. So that happened. I don't think it got as cold as it was supposed to. Um, just because I was warm last night and it doesn't feel that cold right now. So I'll have to check the temperature when I get back. But I don't, I would be really surprised if it actually got below zero last night. So I'm gonna pack up my stuff, probably have to unbury my tent, and head down the trail and then I'm gonna hike back out and see if we can see any tracks or anything around the tent last night and yeah that's about it for now so we definitely got some pretty deep snow last night all my tracks from yesterday are just covered up I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it is still snowing lightly there's my oh my tent sagged that's my pack inside right there but it sagged so bad and I think I was like knocking snow off of it all night. Um, so I think, well, I mean, it was just from the weight of the snow being on it. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't have as good of a pitch as I thought, but it kept me dry. It did the job. Um, I was, this tent is spacious enough to where I was away from the walls. Um, even when they were sagging like that, so I didn't have to worry about, like, condensation too much on my sleeping bag. Um, I didn't really have very bad condensation issue at all last night. I mean, I'd get a couple drops on my face every now and then, and the outside of my bag was damp, but it was not too bad besides this really bad <laughs> sagging.
So I just made it back to the trail. I walked over from my campsite and I can tell we got a lot of snow last night because I can't even really see the trail at this point, but I'm not worried because the blazing is so good on this trail. I'm not worried at all. I also um, finally took the plunge and got gut hook, which is now called uh, Far Out, I think. So I also have the gut hook map for this little segment if need be. And I did check the map uh, last night too. I went almost four miles yesterday, so I don't have that far to go, but we have our meeting time of 11 a.m. So I'm gonna try to not get there too early because I don't wanna be standing around when it's cold out. And I think it is supposed to snow more this morning. So that's what's happening this morning. So I way underestimated how much harder it would be to break trail under a few more inches of snow because, oh my goodness, is this tough. I actually took off my snowshoes because I couldn't figure out how to get like the like snow ice balls to stop forming at the crampon area. So it was just making me like really off balance and I, it wasn't like gripping how it was supposed to. So I actually took them off and it's a little bit easier without the snowshoes at the moment. So I don't know. I mean, that must be a common problem that people encounter with snowshoeing. So if you know what to do about that, then let me know in the comments. Cause I literally like just looked up on YouTube, how to snowshoe and bought these on Amazon and I have no experience. So I'm kind of learning on the go, but oh my gosh, I've gone less than a mile and I'm already exhausted. Um, I've gone close to a mile now, so just three more miles left. I'm glad I didn't hike in any further yesterday because I was not prepared for how hard this would be. So let's keep going. Made it back to the car. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 